Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. Honor, code, loyalty. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Truth, 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 truth. Hey gang, Dave Parisi from Dave Parisi Fitness. We promised you Day of the Deltoid 2 and here it is. So here's the deal, I want everyone to remember when it comes to exercising, training, we don't want to waste time. We don't want to base everything on the way it feels or a sensation or repetition range. We need the right environment, the correct information, only then can you achieve great results without the risk of injury. There's no one perfect exercise, but there's a strong position that you must maintain while moving the joints. Remember, the more you understand about the body in the equipment, the more you realize the risk of most exercises. The most common exercises that lead to shoulder impingement syndrome, any pain in the shoulder girdle area, are military presses, seated straight bar, or dumbbells overhead, and of course the upright row. I will not talk about behind the neck presses, they're just so old school and dysfunctional, I don't even imagine people still do them. Here's a safe, anatomically correct shoulder program without the, hey, look at me attitude. I want you to meet Jason Minns, our Director of Training and Educational Development for FitPro's Personal Training School in Hamden, Connecticut. Enjoy Day of the Deltoid Part 2, and remember, go to Part 1 also if you want to learn the hypertrophy moves for the deltoid. Enjoy. Hey Dave. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, just uh, trying to reach my goal. I want to get this nail in this block of wood with the back of the screwdriver. I'll eventually get it. Meet Jason Minns, Director of Education and Training Development for Fit Pros Academy Personal Training School in Hamlin, Connecticut. Hey. Number one job in the world is sit down job and we sit as well. So Jason is going to do these exercises because it's crucial that we teach our nervous system as well as our muscular system how to maintain proper spinal efficiency during any pulling or pushing exercises. Obviously to avoid injury of the spine. As you can see Jason comes away from the wall retracting his shoulder blades. Here's a front view and we're deep in the trenches at Results Plus Personal Training in Hamden. First exercise on his knees. We're going to shorten the exit entry level. Okay, so we're going to make it a little easier, a little more efficient. Jason is pulling the rope back with his arms and shoulder blades at one time. The next exercise we're going to do is a rear delt move, but he's doing this in a supine position. Notice the angle of his arms, his humerus, water runs down slightly. He's just doing a shoulder retraction movement. Okay, he's got a, a base of a ground support base, which helps him stabilize so he becomes more of a fixator, put a little more regional emphasis in the rhomboid and rear delt area. Jason is now in a prone position, in a bridge position, activating the internal corset, the inner unit by assuming a specific posture. A little more proprioceptive enriched environment, a little more dynamic stabilization of the inner unit and core. Again, still working the rear delt area. Now, most exercises in life are performed in a standing position. Here's just another way of looking at it. In a standing position, maintaining proper spinal alignment, he's drawing his shoulder blades back, followed by his elbows. And don't think about pulling with your hands. Shoulder blades back, followed by the elbows. Again, scapular retraction, working all those muscles of the posterior deltoid, rhomboid area, any of those postural muscles of the upper back that run horizontally. Again, another angle of looking at it. You gotta look at the direction of resistance and gravity and opposition, all key factors to performing the exercises correctly. Another exercise, performed with a free motion machine is just basically the same exact exercise only now we're using a long lever arm. Okay, the relative risk goes up a little bit here because of the long lever arm. The furthest the load coming away from the joint, the more stress on that glenohumeral joint. Another angle. Again, he's just pulling back. It's called a medial arc curve. It's almost like doing a reverse fly. No movement from the elbow joint whatsoever. Light up, line up the pulleys directly out in front of you, parallel to your shoulder joint. Slowly, concentrically pull back the shoulder blades, followed by the arms. Think about drawing the elbows back. 
and that would be another exercise for the rear delts. We put a lot of emphasis on the rear posterior deltoid because of the seated poor postural positions we put ourselves in every day. Hey, here's one that looks familiar. You probably do this with a dumbbell. Unfortunately, with a dumbbell, you can't hit the way the fibers run on a diagonal on the middle deltoid. Again, with a free motion machine just coming up, you saw this in the day of the deltoid one. This is just a basic side raise. Look at the range of motion. We're trying to cut out some of the supraspinatus by starting about 30, deg 30 degrees of humeral abduction. You're just coming up slowly. The wrist never exceeds the shoulder joint, working the medial fibers of the deltoid. This is a true side raise, everyone. This is the proper way to perform it, safe and efficient. This exercise is in the day of the deltoid one as well. We want to show you another point of view. This is just a basic shoulder elevation, what you might call a shoulder shrug. Nothing is being dictated by holding onto a bar. Now, on a shoulder press position, this is the position you need to be in. Not this position, that position. That's true shoulder function. You get the same exact result. Okay, so what we don't want to do is that first one, but here, look at the position of the arm. It's almost like you're doing a front raise with your arms bent. You're in what's called 30 degrees. This is the most anatomically efficient, biomechanically safe position you can be in if, again, I, I put an emphasis on if you're gonna do an overhead press. Remember your goal, remember your client. We shorten the exit entry by just staying on our knees. We're gonna get a little more emphasis in the front region. Notice the arm, just like doing a front raise with a short lever arm. Okay, now we're gonna train scaption. Not a front raise, not a side raise, right in between. This trains most of the rotator cuff musculature, supraspinatus. Obviously, it's a shoulder flexion movement, which incorporates the anterior deltoid as well. Excellent exercise for strengthening the rotator cuff and working the anterior shoulder girdle musculature. Finishing off now by making sure that we're not tight and hypertonic in the anterior shoulder girdle muscles. We're gonna come off the wall again. We're gonna finish it off by retracting the shoulder blades so that we walk and put our spine back into that neutral posture, the most optimal position the human body can be in. All right, Jason, put away the guns. Great job. Honor, code, loyalty.